Hi there, I'm Jonathan and welcome to my channel, Jonathan's Diamond Painting and Stuff. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're coming back to me, welcome back. I'm so glad to have you here. So uh, this video is being filmed a bit out of sequence uh, because I'm actually house-sitting for, uh, for my bestie Sarah tomorrow. Um, and um, I just... Um, I just uh, needed something to take with me and I thought it'd be really, really, really cool to do some of these lovely paint gem Christmas edition uh, diamond paintings. So if you've never seen a paint gem kit before, they specialise in teeny tiny kits. So just like, they're literally just a small square each um, and they, they often come with several. And this one, the Christmas edition, has 16 designs in one kit. Um, and I can't remember what this retails for, but I will put it over over the top um, with some text now. Okay, so I was I've been really looking forward to doing these. Now it's getting a bit closer to Christmas, and as I don't think I'll have as much time in December uh, because of the um, Diamond Art Studio Advent Kit that's coming out, um, I will. I, I thought I would I would kit these up now so I can do them tomorrow at my friends, and then a few, a few more throughout November. Um, just um, as I mentioned, the Diamond Art Studio Advent Kit. If you have the Advent Christmas Advent Kit, um, please um, feel free to join our Facebook group that's being built just for that. Um, so it's basically just people that are going to be posting progress, uh, but the, um, during the event. Um, but obviously, we have a we have a caveat on posting images um, onto our site. Um, for two days after each uh, each window, so the first would be the third, uh, second would be the fourth, etc. Just so that people that are a bit slower have a chance to catch up, you know, and um, complete each window in time before they see the spoilers. Okay, so before I do that, just a little reminder that I've just been making my tramets. These are drill tray mats. That's how I've got the name. And they're just for your drill trays to sit uh, on, and this can go on top of comfortly on top of the canvas, even if it's got drills there, and you're not going to damage the drills. And it's a beautiful design at the same time. Um, I, me and my friend Sarah, designed these, and I had I make them by hand, obviously using the sewing machine for some of the bits. Uh, but there's a lot of cutting and um, everything. Uh, but yeah, these are I've got some a couple of space ones left at the moment, and a couple of these gorgeous. Uh, little cute um, rainbow castle ones. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. They're really cool. So, anyway, so, right. I'm um, just going to kit this up now. Um, I will uh, do kind of an unboxing at the same time of what's in this and what you can expect from a paint gem kit and everything. Um, and so you know, I'm just going to be using my art dot storage system, um, and that is basically to um, um, kit these up. Um, this is an 80, but I've taken some of the pots out for other things. So, um, but I don't need I don't need the full 80 because obviously these are quite small amount of numbers in these. Okay. Okay. So let's get this open. So this is the Christmas edition paint gem kit. Um, which is a diamond painting kit, and it has this beautiful sleeve, which has got all of the um, designs that are in this kit strewn upon it, and some beautifully themed uh, packaging. And then we've got all the designs listed um, on the back here. I'm not going to dwell on them too much because um, I'll be showing you them individually, and these are very, very tiny pictures, but you get the gist of the sorts of um, cute designs you have in this kit. So let's just get this open. So on the box, you've got a, a QR code, which you can scan for step-by-step -step video tutorial, which could be useful if you're a, a new beginner or you wanted to give this to somebody as a gift, you know, for uh, a Christmas, Christmas present or any sort of present, you know, that's quite cool. And then we just open it up. It just says, relax through creativity on the box. I mean, this is beautifully packaged kit. And I just love this. Uh, I mean, Diamond Art Studio um, also have 
beautiful um, packaging uh, for their toolkit. But this is beautiful. It's like kind of a canvas. Actually, it's not canvas, sorry. It might be linen. It's a very, very gorgeous um, string, uh, tied string bag. And it has a really cute, tiny little tray. <laughs> so it's smaller than the Diamond Art Club one. Um, it's got one heart shaped wax, which I'm sure is a very high quality pink wax. Um, I won't use that because I use cat's putty, but it's very useful to have the wax. Um, and it's got the pen, which is a nice white one, very appropriate for Christmas with sparkliness in it. Um, I mean, some tweezers, but I mean, these aren't the best quality tweezers. Uh, they're plastic ones. I prefer metal, but I have my own anyway. Um, and a squishy, black squishy to go with your white pen. That's nice. Okay, just pop those away. And then we have the drills. And the drills come packaged in this, all the, these pre-packaged um, bags. And, um, I mean, it's, you know, some people like this. I prefer the heat sealed bags just because I find the drills come out easier and it does reduce the chance of static, but it, static can still happen with the heat sealed bags. It depends on the environment where they're packed and a lot of different factors. Um, but yeah, but, um, but you know, it's, um, it, it's still, it, it's still nice, you know, you can still easily kit these up and you have the advantage of being able to work out the bags if you really want to. So just to open this up. And you just get a sense for all the colours and the colours, they're actually coded, aren't they? In just, um, I mean, sorry, you know, you know they're just colour coded already into kind of that. So I can actually kick these up in order and it will be in my order as well, but just about. Well, there's a, yellow, a couple of yellows over here, but yeah, so that is really, really nice. So yeah, right. So what shall we do next? I'm just going to have a little look at the designs and hopefully the sticker sheet will be in here. Yeah, we've got the sticker sheet at the back here. Uh, and it's um, brilliant and it's got the colour and the number of the DMC code, which is really nice. I don't think there are ABs in the paint gem kits, but that's fine. You know, you don't have to. Um, but yeah, so we've got... This is the thing, uh, how many, is this 10s? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, no, 11, 12. So we've got 12, 24, 36. Um, there. <laughs> 36, uh, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. 46 colours. Sorry, my, my brain was just shut off there for a second. So 46 colours and just inside here we have some tips and tricks about using multiplaces, framing without glass to get the extra sparkliness, um, labelling the gem bags with the matching letter symbol, avoiding dry out if you're taking a break, place the clear film back on the adhesive layer, but these, I think these are poured glue, so um, they're, at, uh, they're at less risk of drying out and actually I left one for a while. And I, I mean, it was only a little bit of the canvas, so the, 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 um, the cover didn't really adhere to it properly, but it still, it was about a month or two by the time I actually finished it and it was still really sticky. So, so I think I'm going to save these till the end. So I will show you these at the end and, um, and then I'll, and I'll just kit all these up now, speed it along, have some festive sleigh belly music or something and um and then we will have a little look at all the designs in a minute okay
Okay, so I've got them all up roughly in their colour groups. There's some I'm going to move about, I think, but I'll have a look at what the colours are as they go into the bottles, because sometimes you can't completely tell, particularly on some of the darker shades. But, um, but yeah, so let's get these kitted up now. Okay, wait. Just because these are prone to static, I'm just going to breathe into the bag and see if I can encourage, because you can see these are kind of sticking to the edges a little bit. So I'm just going to see if I can encourage these to de-staticify. you seal it properly. <laughs> and ironically that has solved those and I'm just getting them everywhere. Right. <laughs> okay let me just get these sorted and then we'll continue. I'm really not having the right good start, am I? Right, let's just tip all these onto the table. I think I, this brush gets used more in kitting up videos <laughs> than it does when I'm off camera, to be honest. So, Yeah. Okay. Let's start again. <laughs> right, we've got A three O seven eight. Just so I'm explaining myself properly, I'm just getting some dryer sheet. Um I think the combination of breathing into the bags and then putting a little bit of dryer sheet into each bag um, will help these. Um, de staticify as much as they can.
right, well, that was a job and a half again. <laughs> I'm not having a good luck with um, kit kitting up recently. Um, I've just got a couple, a few drills that have escaped. And you probably saw on the sped up notion that I <laughs> had a right job dropping drills and all sorts of nonsense, you know, so. <laughs> oh dear. But, yeah. I got there in the end. I mean, to be honest, I think my best thing was just to tip the drills straight into the pot, put a little bit of, um, a little bit of, um, um, dryer sheet in the pot, shake the pot up was the best way, because I think there's one of these that has absolutely, I think I've made it worse than it was <laughs> before, because they're just sticking to each other all sorts, I don't know how I'm going to manage them i might have to put them in the freezer or something but yeah anyway <laughs> okay so but we're kitted up and to be honest the way paint gem arranged theirs so they're pretty much all in a pretty good order i'm just thinking now oh, there's four reds there so i'm just going to take these four red out take these four yellow out and put the four yellow together up here um and put these actually there's a yellow there as well isn't there put these four reddish colors together i'm gonna have to move this yellow as well but that is a blue and that needs to go down where the blues are so how am i gonna do this oh that's another pink there you go okay so oh i'll just move the lights <laughs> up here Okay, so they're roughly in a good sort of arrangement for colour. So happy with that. I'm going to transfer these to my 60 case um, after this um, because um, I, that's, I've got a ca little carry case to that. So that's just more useful. And then I'll just transfer my other paint and my rainbow edition into this uh, because I won't be doing that now until next year, I think. Okay, so shall we get have a little look at all these designs? I th I just love these. I think they're all so cute and lovely. Um, but um, I know which one I'm going to do first, but I won't tell you yet. Just showing you, so you've got a little elf there. We've got Merry Xmas. Oh, I don't like Xmas, but oh well. And these are, sorry, I should explain. I don't like it being abbreviated to X. I, I just, I just don't. It's just me being a bit weird. Um, Santa. Presents. These are all just so cute. And any of these you could use as a, um, as like Christmas card covers, you know if you wanted, you know, and the g wonderful thing about this is, is it's only got glue on the bit where the design is, so it lends itself well to doing it for something like that. Or I think what I'm going to do is I might string them in rows of little tiny picture frames once they're done. Now, this is my absolute favourite, this snow globe, and that is the first one I'm doing. Because if I don't, me and Sarah might have a session and she might try and nick it, so <laughs> I'll get it first. Um, and that's a stocking with a nice little candy cane and presents and stuff in it. Some bells. Gorgeous. A reef. That's stunning as well with like little baubles or whatever in it. And a bow at the bottom. Cute little reindeer. Oh, how cute is he? Or she. <laughs> Some little mittens with a bit of holly poking out. Another Merry Xmas. <laughs> but yeah. Um, and a couple of baubles hanging from the tree. Just trying to... Oh, what is that? Sorry, I'm just trying to work out what that is. It looks like a birdhouse. Let me look at the 
Um, oh. I was just going to say, is it a red-breasted robin? It's just because of the pixelation, I couldn't tell. There we go. A snowman. And finally, a Christmas tree. All absolutely stunning. Now, if I was to pick my favourites out of all of these, let me just have a go. Snow globe will be number one. Um, Christmas tree will probably be number two. Um, where are we? Let's have a little look. I think the Christmas stocking would have to be number three. And oh, I've got any front runners. I like the bells, but do I like the snowman, snowman more? I think I like the snowman more. So those are my top four, I think. So really love those. They're, they're my favourite ones. But I love doing all of these because they're so cute and they're such bright Christmassy colours, you know. So that'll really get me into the mood for the season. So, yeah, and I'll do a few of those tomorrow. So as I'm filming this, um, sorry, as I'm um, going to be releasing this probably on Saturday evening, um, if I get any of these done, I will superimpose them. Oh, sorry. I will superimpose them now, you know. So let, let, let's say I've had a good day. Right. So here are some of the ones I, I did tomorrow. No idea which they are, but, you know, they're the ones I did. <laughs> okay. Right, so that's my unboxing and kitting up of the Paint Gem Christmas edition. Um, really, really, really looking forward to this. I love Paint Gems kits and it's just a nice way to do a little bite-sized thing if you're on the go or travelling or, you know, going to your friend's house for the day, you know. So, yeah, so I'm really, really looking forward to doing these. I love the kits that I've got so far and I'll certainly be buying more in the future. So if you like this video, please give me the thumbs up. Um, and if you, if you like my content, um, please consider hitting the subscribe button and, um, hitting the bell icon to, and all to get the notifications when I release a new video. Bye for now!